Hey folks, welcome to Low Country Wildlife. On today's show, we're going beaver trapping. I'm going to take you along on one of my depredation trapping jobs and show you some of the tricks and tips we use out there in the field to put the smack down on them old flat tails. So don't go anywhere. you rolling with Team LCW. Well, folks, we're going to head out to the field and do a little beaver trapping today. Before we get started, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this equipment we use. Now, a lot of you know I'm a wildlife control operator, so one of my side jobs is trapping beavers and coyotes and fox and all that. And I figured we'd be pretty cool to take you all along with us today on one of these little jobs we're going to do. Uh, we're going to do the whole show with the 330 Connor Bear. And the reason we're going to do that is, is this is a trap you can get locally. You can buy this at most all your hardware stores and, and buy it any outdoors. And y'all have seen these traps. And this is probably the best beaver trap that was ever invented. And uh, it's a pretty simple concept. The concept is you're setting it in a pinch point. Uh, some places the beaver's got to go or you're making him go through it and when he sticks his head through that square there it works essentially like a rat trap. I mean it's a strong piece of equipment you definitely don't want your hand caught in it but it's a brand new trap I just bought so I figured I'd show you how what I do these traps right out of the box. Brand new trap just picked it up um, springs are kind of hard to keep open so I'll probably let them shut but your basic components is a, is a, a dog is what they call you your little pins here. And that's your trip mechanism. And then you got your little little latch down here. I think you know they're called all kind of things. Uh, releases, latches, dogs. Everything's called called something. And, and far as the trapping jargon, I don't know. I just know how to catch them. But uh, what you got to do here is, is when you get these pins here, and you can set this trap just like this, and it would be just fine. What I like to do is, 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 is the wider this is, the more kill area you got on these traps. So when I get these, the first things I do is, is I will bend them out into like a V uh, or, or more like a U. So I'll just take them and, and spread them apart. And that, that would actually work just fine like that. I like a little bit of kill area. That way if the beaver's a little bit on one side of the trap or the other, you still get him. So you can spread them. Now I actually take mine and bend mine more to kind of kind of like a U, like a set of tuning forks almost. And uh, about like so, a little bit wider, some of them. Just play with them. When the beaver hits them, they go bend them all up anyway. The other component you got is a safety latch. And they had these aggravating traps when they're new, they're hard to mess with because they ain't not got wore out yet. but. Anyway, get you up here so you can see your safety latch here. You see that latch there? All it is a big old steel hook, and when you compress these springs together, that hook will go over them. And uh, that keeps it from firing. And until you get the trap set, they got you back. Other thing is you got a chain with a loop on it here. That's just to stake it off. And in these traps, I mean, these are kill traps. The animal's not gonna fight these traps. So stake it down. Uh, I've used limbs, drove it down good. I use rebar, all kind of stuff. You know, here's a, one of my rebar stakes right here. Uh, making myself just a little bit of rebar, welded a little T on top of it there. It don't have to be that sophisticated. I even ground me a pretty little point on there to make it look all professional when I stick it down there. But it can be a little bit of anything. You know, I've used sticks and limbs and whatever I got, but make sure it's good and secure and deep down in the mud there. Uh, the next thing I do to the trap is, is I paint them. And cheap old Walmart paint, I think it's like 90 cent a can, 95 cent a can, something cheap. The only reason I paint them is, is, is I want it to be black. And the reason I want it black is I don't want it to stand out. You don't want anything shiny. You want it to look like it's part of the water. And most water's dark or something, you know, so that's what you want it to look like. The main reason though you paint it is, is to keep from rusting all the time. That thing's going to sit in the water. I got traps that they might sit in the water two and a half months out of three. I mean, it's just going to be in the water and that's rough on them. So we keep uh, keep the traps all painted up. And I got one right here that's, that's pretty much one of my traps. I actually pulled this out of the water this morning and had a beaver in it. So see my dog's house bent. You can see I've had to make some adjustments to it between beavers bending and stuff. Compressed springs, got your safety latch on them right there. Locked in, secure, everything's just painted black. Chain, 
Uh, one of the little things I do with these chains here is I'll take that round hook, that round loop, and I'll just bend it flat uh, versus the new one. And I'll just mash it flat, beat on something. And the only reason I do that is, is uh, I use a lot of pieces of rebar with little pieces of washers welded to them or something. That just makes it a little bit uh, tighter of a hole to go through. So anyway, real quick on the on the how to set these things. They make tongs. They make all kind of scissors like things that you can compress these springs. But don't make no no mistake. These springs will hurt you, and they are dangerous. So the best way I've found to do it is get you an old rope, pretty heavy. Tie your loop in the end of it, nothing fancy. Slip that over your boot, like so. Run your string through the bottom, through the top, through the bottom, through the top. And it works essentially like a block and tackle. When you get it down like that, you just go give it a good snug pull. And when you do it, it'll compress them springs down. And when the springs compress down, you can hold it with one hand, flip your safety latch on, and release it. That keeps your hands out of the way, everything's out of the way of it. That's the easiest thing i found. Other thing about the rope is that rope's easy to tote in the woods. I always keep a spare, roll it up, put it in your pocket. You're good to go. If you're down in the woods by yourself, if you get your hand caught in one of these traps, you in a mess. But with that rope, you can take that rope with one hand and one foot and compress them springs get your hand back out of that trap. Hope that'll never happen, but believe me, it does happen because I don't have any feeling in my thumb from that happening about a year and a half ago. 330, corner bear stand. You can order these about any one of your trapping supply houses. They're three or four bucks a piece. They last forever. Stick this in the mud, and I'll show you when we out in the field. You stick this in the mud, you trap it around top. It supports your traps. Very simple. Keeps the trap from burying in the mud and the jaws firing correctly. Great little tool to have. Paint it black also whenever you get them. Uh, last thing we need to talk about, I believe, is the lures. All kind of lures on the market. And uh, I'm not going to show you what I'm using because I don't want you to get no preconceived notion that one's any better than the other. You have to get out there and try them. You can order these from trapping supply houses. This actually is some lure, and you'll see me use this in the field. This is some lure I make, and it works really well. Not for sale. <laughs> But anyway, I think that's all we need. We got the stake, we got the stand, we got the trap, we got the lures. I think it's time to get to the field. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, I got a little job y'all will help me out with, so don't go anywhere. <laughs>